Collins one foul down to Iggy Suarez at third base. At Salem, the batting average just 226, six homers, 30 RBIs, 14 doubles, two triples, 45 walks, 77 strikeouts. Young guy takes that one, a breaking ball up and in. One ball and one strike. I say young guy, he's 19 years old. So the top two hitters in the drive lineup tonight, 19. Swings through a breaking ball from Chen. And he's behind one and two. And despite that 226 batting average, we were talking with Iggy Suarez, and he says that the reports that he got from the organization is that Coffey has been trending upward, and he was ready to make the move. Jumps away from a pitch inside, and it's two and two. Dan, it's interesting you talked about Anthony, 228 a home run and 18 runs batted in and uh, in, in just, what, 42 games or so, but they also said the same thing. that Coffee takes a breaking ball for strike three, and he is retired for the first out of the inning. Nice pitch there, off speed, 75. Quick look at the Greensboro defense. Joshua Seitler at first, Tamar Johnson second, Jack Brannigan at short, Francisco Acuna at third. Left to right in the outfield, Jace Bowen, Trace Gonzalez, Sammy Ciani, Wyatt Hendry behind the plate. Here's Alan Castro, hit his, first, his second home run of the season last night in the first inning, a two-run shot. Second since being promoted, he swings and fouls one at the plate. Now you look at how the roster has turned over the top three hitters in the lineup Anthony Coffey and Castro two months ago were all in Salem and you look at the guys who started here who are now in double a Portland and one of the reasons Briner Bonacy was promoted a his play warranted it but B Marcelo Meyer is on the injured list at double a Portland no balls and two strikes to Castro and he fights one off Fouls it out of here, third base side. Hit his home run last night on an 0-2 pitch. Also had a sack fly, drove in three runs total. Anthony, a short lead at first base, one out. And the 0-2 again, and Castro takes it low, a changeup. A ball and two strikes. Brian Gonzalez waiting on deck. Scoreless here in the bottom of the first inning. If you hear what sounds like barking, it is barking. It is bark in the park night. One-two pitch. Strike three swinging. Way out in front of a changeup. And that's back-to-back -back punch outs for Chin. Two down. If you're watching on MILB TV. Bayer is the defensive alignment that I gave those of you listening just a moment ago. And here's Brian Gonzalez. Had his six-game hitting streak snapped last night with an 0-3. But he walked and was hit by a pitch, so he has reached base safely in 12 consecutive games and has scored a run in five straight, hitting 263. Nine homers and 46 runs batted in. Takes the first pitch low for a ball. Big hole on the right side of the infield. Second baseman Johnson shading almost to the bag, and of course the first baseman Seitler holding on Anthony. Fastball outside, 2-0. and And in the outfield, they're playing him a bit as an opposite field hitter. Two balls and no strikes. Chen with the paws at the belt and the pitch, and a fastball right in there. 2-1. and one. The green monster seats are almost full tonight, and a huge group in the pavilion up on top of the New York Life building. Going to be a good crowd here this evening. Here's the 2-1. And Gonzalez waves at a breaking ball well off the plate outside. 2-2. Two and two. At certain points of the game, Tom, I may just go silent and allow the dogs to provide editorial comment. Well, they did play ball, or one dog did, and... Or something like that. Throw to first. I don't always, know if a babble has anything for always, interpretation of dogs. Always brings back to mind the great Looney Tunes. 
cartoon and the guy goes into the talent agency and said he's got a talking dog, you know? 2-2 yes. two, two pitch, strike three swing, and we'll finish that yes. story when we get here. Last night with two doubles, two runs batted in, eight homers, 42 RBIs on the season, and those runs batted in have come in a bunch here in the last week. He's hit in five straight, scored runs in five straight, has driven in a run in four straight, and extra base hits in three consecutive games. He's behind 0-2 here as he just got a piece of a breaking ball. Seven runs on seven hits. And the top of the second inning for Greensboro. The 0-2 pitch to Miller and the fastball misses inside. De Valerio, an inning and two-thirds, six hits, seven runs, three earned, no walks, three strikeouts, 42 pitches, 25 strikes, four home runs in the inning by the Grasshoppers. Miller strikes out swinging on an off-speed pitch in the dirt. Hendry will throw down to first to complete the strikeout. That is four consecutive punch-outs by Ho Yu Chin after he walked Anthony leading off the first inning. Now Ronald Rosario, who had a front row seat for Kyle Teal's debut last night. Back behind the plate this evening, hitting 256. Three homers and 27 runs batted in. And Chen's first pitch to him was a fastball strike, actually an off-speed pitch. 81 on the gun. The 0-1. And that breaking ball missed down and away. While Chen's fastball with a bit more velocity than Di Valerio, Tom, he and Di Valerio very similar pitchers in the fact that Chen is going to do a lot of his work with the off-speed stuff. That 93 mile an hour fastball fouled out of here, but you look at his four strikeouts in a row and he has gotten ahead and put hitters away with change-ups and breaking balls. 85, 81, 76, and 81. And there is a swing and a foul in and out of the mitt of the catcher. Edison Paulino on deck. Anybody gets on, we'll see Eduardo Lopez for the first time in the series. And Chen had 97 strikeouts in 99 innings coming in. Now, he has allowed 17 home runs. Chance there to get some runs on the board, maybe. Fastball away, two and two. So he showed him the fastball outside. Let's see if he comes back with something off speed here. Break even pitch to Rosario. And he did. Threw him to change up, had him out in front, and he has struck out five consecutive. 214, six out of 28. And he takes first pitch called strike from Ho Yu Chan, the right hander at 6'2, 187, 21 out of Taiwan. Comes in five and six with an ERA of four. And has been good so far. That off speed, particular swing and a miss on that. He has worked ahead in the count this year when he's ahead, opposition 216, behind 274. The 0 2. As they drop it in there, but it hit in front of the plate and bounces away as the guy goes to one and two. This is his 20th appearance in his 19th start. He's tied for fourth in the South Atlantic League. It starts 99 innings coming in. That's a tie for second. 49 runs, 44 earned, but he has given up 17 home runs, the second most in the league. Fouled straight down. That one got Wyatt Hendry, the catcher. And he is down on one knee. Good job by the home plate umpire, Samuel Carey, to walk out to the man and give Hendry a chance to walk around behind home plate and kind of gather himself a bit. MILB.TV will give you that replay. Yep, got him pretty good. Tough one to take there. Yes, it is. Chen. Has also given up 94 hits. 
and that's the third most in the league. So he's been hit around a little bit, but the ERA is pretty good at four. Struck out 97, tenth in the league, and there's another one. And it's on another off speed. Still kind of difficult to believe that they're in the North Division, but at one point they had seven of the South and Greensboro moved to the North to make it even with six in each division. Roman Anthony, first pitch ball strike, and this one over the top at 75. And I'll tell you, we talked with Iggy Suarez on one of our pregame shows against Rome, and the drive really had a hard time with off-speed pitches against Rome, and they're struggling here tonight against Po Yu Chan. So Anthony walked his first time up, in fact, on four consecutive pitches. And 0-2, just off the plate. Henry held it there. Anthony last night walking the first score to run. Solo home run went uh, the opposite way to left field in the third. Couple strikeouts and walks. He was on three times. 1-2, bounces up through two balls and two strikes. Number five prospect. Boston Red Sox organization, number two in Sox prospects, Cutter Coffee on deck back of him in his debut coming up from Salem. That check swing there, and he went too far, and again, 77 miles an hour, and Po Yu Chan rolling right along, pick up his seventh strikeout. Home runs and leads the team with 46 runs batted in. He takes the first pitch up high for a ball. He struck out on a 76 mile an hour breaking ball his first time up. Now remember, Chen has given up 17 home runs on the season. They come back beginning here. And inside corner for a call stride, dropped it in there. Gonzalez gave up on it a little bit. We play in the bottom half of the fourth inning. It started with uh, Cutter Coffee getting his first base hit for the drive coming up today. And then Alan Castro goes the other way, hit in the left center field. So second and third, nobody down. This pitch is up high for a ball. Evens the count of one ball and one strike. Let's see if Gonzalez can drive one here. Dan gave those numbers. The drive good with runners in scoring position. And drops in there as well. Again, off speed, staying that way with Gonzalez. Yeah, he did not like the call. And now is gonna ask for time and kind of try and recalibrate himself. In July, 20 games at 356. And so far here in August at 3.33. So he's been good this last 27, 28 games or so. Count two balls, two strikes. Nobody down, runners on second and third. Big swing on the fast ball up at 93. So used the soft stuff to get ahead of the count and then went up the ladder and able to get him to strike out for the 118th time this year. And that's the eighth. And that's the first on a fast ball tonight. Here comes Tyler Miller. Miller struck out looking his first time up at 81. Left hand hitter, swing and a miss on the first pitch. And he has been outstanding here recently, 10 out of 16. 10 runs batted in, scored six, four doubles, three triples, a home run, and only struck out one time prior to that one back in the second inning. Could use a big base hit here. 82 over the top, no balls and two strikes. And so he'll need to protect now. Shortstop is Brannon, Brannigan tonight. He's playing just in his fourth game there, seven at third and five at second base. Outside corner, off speed, 76. Got him looking for a strikeout. So a promising inning with Coffee single and the double by Alan Castro. Fastball at 93 that Ryan Gonzalez couldn't catch up with. And then three consecutive off-speed pitches. And for the second time in the game, Tyler Miller caught looking. And two down now for Ronald Rosario. Chen pitching outstanding here. Starts him with a breaking ball. 
and it settles in there for a strike. He has gone seven innings three times this year, two of the last five and three of the last seven, and he's thrown as many as 89 pitches. He's at 63 right now. And he has Rosario to wave at one, and that one was even slower at 74 miles an hour. Let's see if he does what he did to Gonzalez with the fastball up. He's been so effective with an off-speed pitch. Eight strikeouts as we play here in the fourth. This one's in the dirt. Henry does a nice job to knock it down and keep it in front and keep the runners where they are. Coffee at third. He began the inning with a base hit to right. Advanced on to third with a double by Alan Castro the other way before the strikeouts of Gonzalez and Miller. Now looking for a big two-out base hit. Ronald Rosario, three home runs, 27 runs batted in, 256 on the year. And he did come back with that fastball up at 93 like Gonzalez, but able to foul it back. And off the facing, off to our right. So two outs with runners in scoring position. The drive second of the league at 264. They do leave the league. 264 as a team, but in this case, 76 mile an hour off speed pitch. And, oh, yo, oh. and 2019, that you know, 445 was not uncommon. Now, there were long, long games prior to the, the pitch clock. That was a long conversation at the mound, and then the umpire came out Samuel Carey and now Fernando Nieve the pitching coach and the trainer are going out Casey Lee the or actually this may be not the trainer may be the translator for Po Yu Chin and when Chi Young Lu was here Needed translator as well. Sometimes I get the feeling that people listening or watching <laughs> us need a translator. <laughs> Closed caption, maybe. <Yeah. laughs> I think that's what they said. I think this is what they meant to say. Right. <laughs> or what they should have said. <laughs> well, the one thing about it is Chen has been so good. Batista on Sunday was too until the drive could get into that bullpen. So see if they could get something going. Had a chance there in the fourth. First pitch Eduardo Lopez is topped foul first base side. No ball or no balls in the strike and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Way out in front of the off-speed pitch, it's 0-2. Grasshoppers put a seven spot up in the second inning, hit four home runs off Jordan D. Valerio, got a run off Kwiatkowski in the fourth. Outside, one and two. Drive had runners in second and third, nobody out in the fourth inning, but Chen then struck out Gonzalez, Miller, and Rosario in succession. He walks Paulino to begin the fifth. And now the one-two to Lopez. And he just got a piece of it to stay alive. Yeah, breaking ball, breaking ball, fastball up. And then he comes back with another off-speed pitch at 80 and just got a piece of it. This next pitch, Tom, will be his 77th of the evening. The one-two. Breaking ball down and in. And Danny threw 89 on July 22nd against Wilmington. And we mentioned briefly earlier that he's gone seven three times this year and two of the last five and three of the last seven. And he's been pretty good against Greenville this year. Three games, 16 innings, five runs, 12 hits, 19 strikeouts, five walks coming in. He had that to tonight. Very good against the drive. 2-2 two -two pitch. And a check swing foul into the netting above the third base dugout.
Lopez making Chin work. The 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out swinging. Change up in the dirt. That's 11 of them for Po Yu Chin. And all but one have come on the off-speed pitch. Now Max Ferguson, who bounced back to the mound his first time up. Takes the first pitch, a fastball high. Very few of his fastballs tonight have been in the strike zone. Off speed away, 2-0. and and Dan, I think you made that point earlier that only on one occasion has he thrown back-to-back -back one, one or two fastballs. Two balls, no strikes. Swing and a miss behind 2-0, and and he threw him the changeup. Ferguson spinning on it. Two and one. He has allowed just the two hits. He has walked two and struck out 11. One out deep into the fifth inning. Pitch. Ferguson fouls it away left side. That was a fastball at 91. Ball stays outside. Three and two to Ferguson. I want to say hello and a thank you to a guy who follows Red Sox minor league action and quite often is dialed in with us. I don't know if he is tonight or not, but I want to get on record a thank you as Ferguson strikes out swinging on a fastball up. He's got some kind of issue with Chen that he is talking about with Samuel Carey, the home plate umpire, but there's 12 strikeouts. And he immediately turned around yeah. and said something. Don't know what it was, but that's going to be all for Chen. He will not get a chance to finish this one, but he was excellent. Not get a chance to finish the fifth inning. Atlanta Brave Company call to the bullpen for the Grasshoppers. They lead it 8-0. We'll be back. Dan Scott here for the Atlanta Bread Company. What do I like about Atlanta Bread? Well, too much to mention in a short commercial, but here are a few things. Bread baked daily fresh on site. A tremendous selection of soup, sandwiches, and salads. Seasonal special additions to the menu. Delicious hot coffee and a bevy of other drink options. And yeah, can't forget about the baked sweet goodies. Dine in or carry out. And when you have the Atlanta Bread Company app, you can order and pay online. Then breeze past the lines to the pickup counter to get your food. Experience it for yourself. That's the Atlanta Bread Company, Cherry Dill Point in Greenville. Let me tell you something, Cowboy. This rookie can really bring the heat. He's smoky and spicy with a Chipotle style all his own. It's a new Montgomery and Chipotle barbecue sauce. Make it a part of your home team. Available now at your neighborhood grocer or...